Monday morning. If I have the camera, who the heck's doing the packing here? Oh, look at all this stuff. Wow, look at this big guy. Sunday working. Sunday working, not Sunday working. Monday. Summer working, that's Sunday. what I meant to say. <laughs> Summer working, Monday packing, today on the Crazy Picker Life with Wheeler, Dealer, and Banana Peeler. Monday, Monday, Monday in the Crazy Picker Life house slash office, whatever, look at that. So we got the uh, sort of jammy wear on here. Outside is warm and inside we keep everything at a nice uh, cool temperature. It's actually a little too cool in the morning. Woo! Okay, let's flip this around, take a look at what's going on here. All right, so we're getting a little bit uh, lazy on things here. I, I wanted to see if Banana Peeler wanted to do welcome fellow pickers and would-be adventurers. And he said no. <laughs> <laughs> so we're a little rusty on the show here all right we got a couple things set up here I'm gonna talk more about this at another time but we have a new uh, photo tent down here Kate my daughter is doing some uh, picturing for me and we've got kind of a grid where I'm putting some items out and so we'll talk about that uh, yes 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 dealer is listing camera items and then we have banana peeler. Okay, stop for a minute. What are you doing here? Uh, packing. Yeah, so for the summer, in fact, you started a little while ago. Yep. You've been packing most of the Canon Guy camera orders. Yeah. And this morning is no different. So how's that going? Good. Pretty good? Yeah. Got a packing set up similar to how we used to have. Yeah, a little bit smaller. A little bit smaller, got your items laid out. Got a few more back there. So, enjoying it? Yep. Getting some good experience? You're actually yeah. pretty good at it. Yeah. Snapped in? Yeah. All right, we'll talk to you more later. Yeah. Okay, so I gotta get used to how this uh, layout works. Of course, I've got background noise galore. But, welcome to The new office setup. Got a bunch of stuff I'm working on here. Of course. Okay, so it is early Monday morning and not as early as I used to do. Uh, I've settled into my uh, my home business uh, thing here or whatever. So typically Monday mornings, uh, printing invoices, checking messages, getting things kind of squared up, looking for any uh, yellow alert, red alert, things that need to be taken care of. And uh, it's busy around the house this time of day. Come on in here, sis. How come you're in my office? Because. Do you live here? Yes. Oh my gosh. How's everything going? Good. I'm excited that we're going to swimming lessons. Swimming lessons today? Oh my gosh, let's go do that. Okay, just took a picture. Now I'm back to video. Hey, we got most of the crew here. Where are we going, Elizabeth? Swimming lessons. Sammy and Elizabeth are going swimming this morning. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Who the heck is driving? Oh, this is my van now. I've taken it over. Oh my gosh. <laughs> lots of changes. Lots been going on. Yeah. Oh my goodness. On to swimming. Okay, change plans. No swim lessons. What happened, guys? What happened, Elizabeth? Too cold. Too cold. Well, it's uh, high 60s this morning and this whole week. It storms all week. And they, I guess, have a boiler problem with the lazy river. So it's like super cold in there. So I guess they're going to move the swim lessons a week later. So we'll be back with swim lessons next week when it's warm. So what are we going to do? I guess we're going to go play at the park. How am I going to get my run in? The boys went running. We'll catch them when they come past. Well, let's see. We can get a workout going up, up and down that, I'm sure. Oh, Colby's got lots of parks. Slides. 
swim club going on too. They're tougher, right? What? You better watch me go down the side. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> it better be fun to watch. Where are you going? Way up there? Yeah. Well, let's see. Oh my gosh. Hi. Yeah, which one are you coming down? The red one. Okay. Please. Oh my goodness. That's We're right. having fun. Oh, look at this now it's like, crew. Oh, man, oh, it's like five degrees out. Whoops. Here comes the running crew. Here we go. Wheeler, banana peeler, and squealer. That's Wheeler. Doing uh, three laps today, four and a half miles. Those guys are in shape. Yeah. So this path we're on, they're putting in some more lighting. We've got about a mile and a half loop around the college campus here in town and they're putting in some new lighting these guys are working on it today you can see their trucks down there pools over there field for whatever else and we're not quite there but when we get around this corner guys we get to see the woods right yeah. okay so this path is pretty nice uh they added this last year sometime and have been extending it. It's about a mile and a half around the college and it's a nice walking path. Running, if you're a runner, you probably know what I am looking at here. The concrete is a harder surface for, for runners in general. So we do this a couple times a week and then we do some other road, road running and track running. But uh, it's pretty nice. And then Lon and I come out here and walk sometimes after we go out to eat and we take the kids on a, a walk and then let them play at the park some. And so we're probably one of the families that gets the most use out of this. And then you got the college, back side of the college campus, they have a two-year community college here. And of course for the most part they're in summer vacation. Okay, so we'll let, uh, let the boys run out their laps and get their mileage in. We've got uh, three more races possible scheduled this summer. Two we've already paid for and signed up. The other's a maybe race. We did one last weekend, and so the uh, Crazy Picker Life family is back in uh, running race form and getting out. When's the next beer mile, right? Back to the office. Back in the office, got my mail in, and I've got my list made, and by list made, whoa, this is interesting, using this phone again is much different than my old camera, uh, list means list items, I've got a list now since we're doing the momentum contest here in the office, next 10, that means uh, i got to get 10 more items available for my daughter Kate to take pictures of so I can keep listing camera stuff. Uh, switch. Oh yeah. <laughs> got a little home project I've got to work on today, today, today. Dead stock with BP. Uh, might talk more about that but basically we've got 3,000 camera items listed and probably 500 of them at least have been on there for a while they need to come off and so banana peeler is going to help me locate the old items and get rid of those we'll stop in with wheeler later so basically busy monday i'm still trying to figure out where to look here's the camera over here on this side of the phone if i look there then i can't see how i'm centered and you might get me like this <laughs> oh boy once i get used to this that'll be it i'll have my new camera right so, uh, busy day. I've got to get some other uh, orders out. I'm going to have BP pack some of these today that are not necessarily camera stuff. Still buying and selling uh, non-camera stuff, not as much. We've got uh, some reasons for that that I'll go into. I need to make a topic list of some of the topics that we'll be doing 
this week and next week, uh, including things like why are we listing more camera stuff? Why are you listing camera stuff, dealer? And, uh, you know, what's going on with the business? Why the momentum contest? Did you go on your six week trip? How's the picking? Et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, so I'm going to go do some stuff for a while here, mainly get my orders ready to go out, and I'll probably tune in via the van or Jeep when I go down to the post office and uh, update a little bit. All right, let's take these into the post office. Here you got a couple totes plus one. I think it was 23 or four orders. This is why we need momentum. I've got some help with me today. Elizabeth, we're going to go to the post office, right? Mm -hmm. Elizabeth is a good helper. And so we've been having strong sales this year, uh, January and, and so on. We're, we're real good. And every year we do get some slowdown for the summer. However, we got too much good stuff in back inventory and uh, we're trying to iron out slowdowns. I don't like slowdowns. So I'll probably talk more about our numbers this year in a future show. And I'll tell you what, I mean, there are peaks and valleys in every business, every eBay business. We're generally always busy, but when the sales slow down a little bit, I, for one, try to put things in place and, and Wheeler and everybody else, you know, we get geared up to get some momentum going again. We certainly don't want low or slow sales for long. So that's what we're doing. Okay, back in the office and while I'm thinking about it, I had this spreadsheet up. I added a graph to it just to give a general idea of how our business has went this year. Gross sales in January to the left. At the top there, the top line, you can see that we had about 34,500 in sales for the month. And that's uh, eBay and Amazon, all our different IDs. And that dipped down a little bit in February, 25,000. March, 28,000 plus. Uh, April slowed down, 19,000. And then May, we did take a 10-day vacation, had our auctions down for a week. And so it's not quite as bad as it looks. It probably would have leveled off close to what April was, but uh, the books don't lie, 14,500. Now, some people would say 14,500 in sales, that's a good month. Well, it, it can be, depending on your margins and everything else. I like to uh, have 20,000 or higher, and I've got a couple more people working with me now, so uh, we need to be able to do a little bit better than that and we got some goals and etc. So anyway, that kind of slope is not the slope you ever want to see. I'm not too worried about it. So I'm not too worried about it because obviously we've been through the sales cycle before where uh, there's ups and downs and summer slow down and our busiest months in the camera business do tend to be January uh, typically through April sometime and uh, it can vary year by year depending on the weather depending on some other things so that's why we are pushing hard for momentum basically for the fall we want to have good fall sales so you need to list now okay some more stuff going on here okay so we've got a uh, banana peeler working down here on Finding old inventory. What what year's inventory are we trying to uh, look up? 2015 and below. Yeah, 2015, 2014. There might be some 2013 still in there. Yeah. We're listing those things over and over and over again, and there is a cost to that. Uh, if they haven't sold in a couple of years, we need to lot them up. We've got sort of a strategy in mind in that. So you found a lens cap. Yeah. So banana peeler is going to start slow by finding five a day we'll get those all laid out and then we're going to uh what make decisions uh, if we're going to yeah. lot them up keep them throw them and he's looking up our listings and then he's going and just putting the numbers on a uh, word word document there so that we can go back and find them once you find the five right yep 
Okay, so that's going on, and then a short explanation of this. I drew these numbers 1 through 10 on here. I will locate and find 10 items per day or more and put these out, and then uh, Kate will take these items. We talk briefly every time I put 10 out just to let her know what I need pictures of. She's been doing some, some photography. She comes in here with the light tent and takes uh, good pictures. Let's see if we can get this thing fired up. Oops, I'm messing with her settings. Thought we could. Uh-oh. Live video, right? Oh, there it is. So this is a pretty average light tent. Uh, it's good size so we can get some big things in. It's working out for what uh, space we have and what we need. And then she is taking those items and uh, putting them on eBay scheduled wise, which costs a little bit when you schedule an item. And then she schedules it for a week or so down the line. And I can get, uh, I can get to them when I get to them. So that's been working uh, pretty well. There's some kinks in there that we're working out. We're getting it so that she can weigh items and give me some sort of a heads up weight. And for the most part, I'm not even um, physically touching the item. Once I set it down here, I'm, uh, I'm just going off the pictures and the information that's on there. And then I do a little bit of the pricing and the way that the, uh, descriptions are are in there and the way the titles are in there and we sort of have a template that we work with so i'm sort of the finisher and kate is the photographer and gets the listing started and gets it in a scheduled format and puts the weight on there and eventually i'm going to have her do the whole thing uh i'm fairly new to doing a lot of the the camera stuff and she's fairly new to listing so she's doing a really good job so we have our inventory pretty much here and we do get into some totes and stuff here uh, a little bit there and then this is our back stock or some of it that we have on site this is where i'm drawing a lot of the items from for uh, my new ebay id it's not a new id but we're selling lots of the camera stuff on there and then a bunch of this back here that is stacked heavy and tight. We went and repacked everything in here is for uh, for wheelers, uh, higher end stuff. And I'll probably explain our new strategy in another show. We picked up uh, a couple of reasonably nice uh, enlargers and then a bunch of lenses that came along with that and some cameras which are typically more money and then on my side I'm going to be listing I've got like one two three totes four totes and some mishmash that I'm going to start setting out here right now I'm going to get ten of these items out and get those in the hopper for listing probably tonight or tomorrow probably tomorrow uh, I haven't really had a push Kate at all. She just, when I put them out, I tell them they're there and boom, the next day they're pretty much done. So that's been, that's been really good. Um, I think that's it for now. So I've got five listings going today. Wheeler's doing pretty good. We'll check in with him later. We're getting momentum. That's what this is all about. Thank goodness. <laughs> oh boy. Don't like to be slow at all. Okay, so uh, Banana Peeler picked out five items, and it looks like there's uh, multiples of these splicers. And then we had a whole bunch of these remotes in there. So what I'm going to do with these five items, I'm going to look them up. I'm going to try to see if they've been mislisted at all. I'm going to see if they've been mispriced, if I can lower the price and sell them. I'm basically going to go through a couple steps to decide where to go with this inventory. Uh, you know, resell it at less, fix it, lot it up, or throw it out. And probably got a little of, of all that in some of our inventory that 
shouldn't have been listed originally. Maybe the lookup of it and the sellability of it wasn't there. With camera stuff, sometimes it's tough and things change. Uh, I, you know, I could give you a few specific examples of cameras that change. Some of the Polaroid instant cameras, the film is no longer made in the last year or something, and the prices went. And so, you know, if you based your business on that, you'd be in trouble. Now, that's that's not the the newer instant film. That's not the. Uh, this is the '60s version of it, where you had to peel it and and do it. And of course, Wheeler could tell you more about that. I'm not an expert in it, but there's extreme cases like that where whole segments of the camera uh, industry change. And then some of these things, I'm not necessarily saying this is the case, but lens caps and little plastic parts and certain things, people don't care if they get authentic ones. They just buy something that's uh, been made recently either by 3d printing or just inexpensive manufacturing and inexpensive prices through china or other areas so i also got 10 items out now i this didn't take me long to do but the other day saturday i spent some time going through all this stuff we just bought on saturday and it is um closest to the door that's why i grabbed it but most of these items will sell fairly readily some of them pretty well, like this easel is a seemingly a pretty desirable one for maybe even a hundred dollars or more, depending. Uh, it's got a fancy name, pro, whatever. And most of these things should check out in the twenty to forty dollar range. And so I'll let Kate know that I have these and talk to her a bit, and then we'll have these ready to list tonight or tomorrow. So that'll be cool. Okay, well here is the Momentum bulletin board. Now I have one in my office too that mimics this one so we can keep track of what's going on here. I'm going to talk more about this uh, as time goes on and I think I'm meeting with Wheeler tonight or tomorrow night about... Uh, so here's Wheeler's closet. <laughs> mm, yeah, <laughs> about some incentives closet. and some Room things. closet, odd to Wheeler. Yeah, he's got That's his is, right? numbers and he's got his totes and good, go. good stuff. And yeah. I heard a, a rumor, wow, there's like sun coming through your window. Yeah, there is. I noticed some weird reflections going on my keyboard there. Yeah, it must be cha changing here. So uh, I hear that you're putting some big numbers up today. Yeah, well, today started out pretty decent. I started at about midnight, so I mean, that's about the best time you can start on Monday. And then I just kind of went through the day. Actually, pretty progressively listing, I'd say 85 to 90 percent effort, which usually I'm at like 20 to 5 to 30 percent, so better than usual. You're on some sort of a strange sleep schedule anyway, but yeah. you did sleep in there some. Yep, yeah, I got plenty of sleep. Good sleep this weekend. Yep, we won't get into your sleep schedule right now. Maybe I'll, yeah, I don't know if I'm having much of a sleep schedule issue this week. I think it's just gonna be pretty normal. Going back to normal, yep, try it out. So, what do we got here? Well, just hit 76 listings total. but 76 so, for today, woo! Yep, so far. A lot of so different far. stuff in there. I listed two weekend. twin lens reflex cameras, some high-end stuff, and then I tackled the rest of the crazy filters and stuff, which I mentioned more on my vlog, but filters are kind of a weird thing listing them because you have to clean them exactly like you clean a lens. So you can literally list 70 lenses in the same time it takes to list 70 filters. So it's kind of annoying, but I mean, they're really decent in this case. Yeah, the, brand, stuff, so. the brand is good. Ro Roly. What more flex, can you ask for? Roly cord, right? I have two more items here, and then I'm ready to go for more. You need, need my help in digging a box out, or are you going to try to go through what's left in that? Oh, I'm definitely not going through what's left in that box. I was actually going to go check in the bathroom and see if those three totes that we have in there have anything that I'm interested in listing. Okay, so if it's not in there, then come and get me, and I'll get you the rest of the Roly stuff. That's actually probably a better idea. So let's well, try that. Just come get me then. Yep. Okay. So Wheeler's got a red board and I've got this uh, blue one, same thing, and then I've been listing some camera stuff all day. Uh, my light, that dims and changes. So I bought these Robbie the Banker things, I don't do all camera stuff now. If you've never seen this, I can't really do it because this one's broken or has corrosion, but you put the coin there and he does something and opens his mouth and flips it up in there. These two, I looked at them fairly closely. Uh, I think they're new in there. 
and new old stock ones go for about 50 each plus shipping that one probably 20 or something somebody will clean it up or fix it I might be able to fix it if it's minor corrosion but uh, these are pretty cool we've had these in the past I paid 20 dollars for the three of them so that'll be a pretty good profit and then this thing actually had one of these molds that I picked up somewhere and these molds and then this thing is a Mattel vacuum packer toy vacuum form by Mattel uh, I'm not gonna try to test it out I paid two bucks for it I'm gonna sell it as is for 20 or 24.99 plus shipping let somebody else fix it play around with it whatever these new in package just like a lot of uh, unique oddball toys there does seem to be a lot of them out there the new in package ones from the 60s or early 70s like that big dollars I don't remember exactly but uh, you know a couple hundred dollars plus okay so I'm gonna try to finish up my listings and uh, I'll check in here in a minute when I'm done What? I can't hear you. <laughs> well, ever since I started working around here, I bought these uh, Bose noise-canceling wireless headset. And I'll tell you what, um, mostly I like them. Mostly I like them, but getting used to them is a little bit weird because it cancels all outside noises, and, and sometimes that's good and sometimes that's bad. I get people tapping me on the shoulder sometime when I'm working. And uh, it almost makes you jump, you know. Okay, so uh, it's getting late. I really have not been working probably the hours that I used to. Uh, around here, I think there's a lot of reasons I'm more efficient not having to go back and forth. And then there's plenty of reasons that I'm not as efficient. So I'll talk about that at some point. Um, I didn't get these bank, Robbie the Bankers listed. I did get this Mattel vacuum form thing listed. I had 17 listings for today. So that's pretty good for a Monday since I had to pack some orders. And, you know, there's always five or ten other things that I've got to get started for the week or supervise or take care of or whatever. So there's always that. So, um... Wheeler is doing a bang-up job on the first day. We don't have his final uh, numbers in yet, but I'm sure they'll be uh, big. Tomorrow, I'm going to talk about our strategy a little bit so you can kind of see what we're doing and how we're attacking all this uh, inventory that we have. You've seen some of the inventory. Tomorrow, I'll show you where the rest of it is. It's not here uh, there's just a massive amount of it, so I'll explain that a little bit, and we'll uh, we'll go from there. So, hope you enjoyed the show. Thanks for watching. Pick well, list often. Tomorrow's another day. Dealer out. Hey, Wheeler. Dealer production. <laughs>